Hi there, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com. We're just here to tell you about our sci-fi modeling video. Okay, and as you can see here, we have created a, uh, a sort of like a, a hallway style alien corridor. Um, once again, using Lightwave uh, 3D. And uh, this was sort of one of the uh, final renders. You can see some of the textures and so on and so forth in the lighting. Um, to, to find this tutorial, all you have to do is go to learn3dsoftware.com. This is our home page. Just click on Lightwave Videos, and you can see all our, our different training videos. And if you go down to Sci-Fi Modeling Interiors, Hallways and Corridors, and just click on the icon on the left, Sci-Fi Modeling, okay? you can uh, order your video here. Uh, we have a full table of contents of what's listed, uh, what's, uh, what the video is about, okay, step for step. Um, this video is a little over eight hours long. It's designed for beginner to intermediate users. Um, screen resolution is uh, 1440 by 900 pixels. It's in MP4 format. Uh, it's very clean, very, very razor sharp, okay. Um, so these are some demo pics from the uh, video. As you can see here, we're working on a uh, steel grate for the floor. And we're here we are building some of the uh, pillars and beams and that kind of stuff. And you can see some of the, the doodads that are going to be going on the walls. And this is sort of an angular shot. With the black and right, white uh, bar going down the center, typical typical stuff you see in the sci-fi kind of movies. Uh, just all sorts of different panels and piping the top of the uh, the hallway. Uh, some beveling stuff going on here for uh, for showing the, the level at which the uh, where you are in your your structure. Um, we also, like I said, we were building all different types of piping and carving in some nernies and stuff on the support structures. And uh, here's another view of it, uh, sort of flat shaded. Okay, and then we also, like I said, we show how to set, set up uh, some radiosity to make it look a little bit more uh, uh, photorealistic. And uh, here's another one of the uh, final renders. So that looks a, a lot, uh, looks a lot different than. Uh, and if you go back to the, the flat shaded view, so lighting really does help. So we just show a quick little lighting trick just to get you set up. And we make it so that these um, fluorescent bulbs here at the bottom uh, actually kind of glow. You can see how it's glowing at the bottom, and then it gets darker as you go up. So we're actually using the polygons as a, uh, as a light source. So that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so here we back with the, the level one. So the, actually the level one actually kind of glow, glows a little bit itself. So we're, we show, like I said, how to make polygons uh, actually be the, the light source. So it's a pretty fun, pretty cool tutorial. And uh, so once again, just come to, if you're interested in that tutorial, just come visit us at uh, at learn3dsoftware.com. We also have other videos as well from uh, ZBrush, Moto, uh, 3D Coat, Photoshop. Um, we're working on some After Effects stuff. We also have uh, 3D model packs. Uh, right now we have a, a really cool dinosaur pack that's on sale for $49. Normally it's $99. Uh, lots of cool dinosaurs in there. Uh, we also even have some uh, texture packs for creature eyes. Okay. So, anyways, this is uh, Adam Gibson uh, signing out from Learn3dSoftware.com.